Hello, awesome people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Solomon, and thank you very much for clicking. In today's video, I am excited to share with you how to design these three flyers in Adobe Photoshop. So, this is the flyers that we are going to do. This is the first one. Here is the second one, and here is the third one as well. And you can see how this flyers is well arranged over here. You can see it from here. This is very well arranged okay so if you my friend want to go ahead and get this PSD file to help you speed up your workflow you might already know how to do check the link in the description below or just search all templates on google and you are going to get access to these files okay so to start with i'm going to create a new document Control plus n to create a new document or you can go to file okay and then select new and we are going to use a square dimension so we can change here to inches and then we will use maybe 10 inches by 10 inches resolution 300 RGB for the color mode okay so when you go back to pixels so 3000 by 3000 pixels then you click on create a new canvas is going to open just like this for you okay so maybe you will not have these guys but if you want to bring the guys on so that you can use it to design your work you can go to view and select new guide layout okay so with the guidelines make sure you have margin selected over here and make sure you have column and row on check and then you choose your figure over here okay let me click on cancel otherwise i'm going to have double of these okay so from here i'm going to start by creating my background okay so I will duplicate this layer i can click and drag this one to the plus sign over here okay so that i'm going to have this layers duplicated and then i'll go to effects and i'll click on gradient overlay so with the gradient overlay i'll open the gradient tab and i'll go all the way to the down and i will select this gradient so this is the gradient that i would like to use so let me open the first up for you to see so this is the color code over here and also this is the second color code as well and this one is going to be the last color code over here okay so if you have this one you are going to get the same thing then i'm going to change the angle to something like this and i'll move the gradient in real time just like this click on ok to accept changes okay then for me i'll go to my source files okay and then i will leave a link in the description below to have access to these source files so from here i will click and drag this background into my photoshop then from here i'm going to use the bounding box around here you know to increase the size of it to my satisfaction i'll click on this one to accept changes okay then from here i'll reduce the opacity of this one to maybe 30 25 thereabouts okay so any figure that i feel it is okay i'm going to leave it over there so i'll go with a figure like 15 percent so that i'm going to have a slightly of this as my background okay and you can increase it to your satisfaction then from here ctrl plus o to fit everything to screen with the help of the rectangle tool i'm going to draw a rectangle just here and i'm going to cover this area with white background or a white foreground color so let me open that and create a white color over here so i'm going to put an extra information here by the way i'll go to my source file and i'll start bringing in my information like my picture all right then you are going to scale it to fit the situation and also if you want to blend this one with the background we can add a layer max to this one so when you click on this one you are going to add a layer max then with the help of the brush tool over here so here is the brush tool i'm going to select that and then you can use the square brackets on your keyboard to increase or decrease the brush and then you can start blending them in okay so if you go through all this process you are going to get something like this okay so i have arranged everything according to how i want it so that we can move forward to the others okay so then for me i'm going to start to add my details like my test so with the help of the test tool over here i'm going to start typing in my test then for me i'm going to change the font type over here so i will use this font with Alenda over here okay so this is the font i would like to use over here so you my friend can go ahead and download this font okay and also i'm going to use this font as well please don't forget to leave me a like on this video and also let me know in the comment section which of these flyers is your favorite okay and why that flyer is your favorite okay and also let me know in the comment section whether you should continue doing more of this such content okay 
so from here i'm going to also change this font to this very font that i have here okay so this is the name of the font you can also download this one as well so from here i'm going to align all of them to the center and i'm going to also increase the size of this one okay and i'm going to move this one down a bit so oil of go to i have something imitating oil over here so i'm going to click and drag this one here and also i'm going to reduce the size and position it somewhere here then i will add the layer max over here so add the layer max make sure you have the max selected and also make sure you have the bright selected then i'm going to blend this one in with the background okay if it is not doing or performing like how you want it make sure you have opacity and flow 100 percent okay then from here because oil is always something like yellowish we can also select both of these tests control gene to group them and then i have these that i also like to put on it so i'll click and drag this one here then i'm going to position it where i want it to be Control plus alt plus g to create a clipping max okay or you can just right click and create a clipping max okay then from here you see that the test is not popping so we can add a drop shadow by selecting the group over here and i'll go to fx and add a drop shadow so with this type of drop shadow we are going to see this one pop let me reduce the distance we move this one a bit down and also reduce this one reduce this one as well reduce the distance again and reduce the opacity so let's see the difference this was without the drop shadow and this is with the drop shadow you see how it pops now so from here i'm going to add the other details of this flyer like the logo the test the time and everything all right guys so if you add the other details this is how it's going to look like then from here i'm going to add this lens flare okay so i'll go to my source file i'll click and drop this one into photoshop okay and then i'm going to leave it a place like this then from here go to your blending mode or blending options and change this one to screen okay and you can move this one around you can also make a duplicate and position it wherever that you want it okay so you can use this one as your flyer you can go with a gold or you can just leave it as white so any of them that suits you or works for you you can go with it so this is how we can go about this flyer let's look at the second one okay all right guys so this is the second flyer that we are going to deal with so i'll start by creating a new document control plus n select a4 and also i'll duplicate the layer so control plus j or you can click and drag this one here okay to create a duplicate of the background then from here with the help of my paint bucket tool so i'll select it over here and also make sure you have this color as your foreground color okay so here is the color code and then make sure you have the paint bucket selected and click once on your background that you just duplicated to make to fill with this amazing color okay then from here i'll go back to my source files and then i'll click and drag this image into photoshop okay i'll double click on it accept changes and i'll reduce the opacity to maybe 45 percent okay then from here i'll go back to my adjustment okay so here are the adjustments i'll select the color lookup and i'm going to change this one from the 3d lat to late sunset okay so here is the late sunset so you can click on it to apply the changes okay and if you feel this one is too much you can still reduce the opacity okay so that you are going to have some but i think i'm going to leave it over there then from here i'll go back to my source file and i'm going to click and drag this one into photoshop i'll make sure i have this one above every layer here and also with the help of the loose selection tool over here we can use that one to make a loose selection around the hair that's around the head ctrl g to make a duplicate we can delete this one for now and then we can also increase the size of it okay and i'm going to position this one over here then i'm going to add a layer max to this one so that with the help of the brush tool we can blend this one in with the background okay also you can reduce the opacity so that you can smoothly blend in together with the background and also let's reduce the opacity of this image 
okay but before that let me increase it a bit and position it very well i'll reduce opacity to maybe 25 and then i am okay with this one so this is going to be the background you can select all of them control g to group that okay so let's start by adding our details so with the help of my test tool over here i'm going to type in my test then also with my favorite font open sans i'm going to select that and leave this one at bold and then continue typing my test all right so from here you can see i have my test ready but i'm going to replace this y with this image over here so go back to my source file and then i'm going to click and drag into photoshop okay so there i have it then i will double click on it then i'm going to delete this one from here and leave a space over here so that i can put or place this image over there so reduce the size so it can fit the situation and from here i'll go to my effects over here and i'm going to apply a gradient overlay so with my gradient overlay i'll go for a gradient like this one so let me open the color code for you guys to see what i am actually adding so here is the first color code and this is the second color code as well i just love gradient because when you use gradient to do your work it just make it stunning and look awesome okay you can click on this new to save your gradient so you can use it later then you can click on this reverse to change the direction of this one and you can control it here as well all right so from here i'm going to make a duplicate of this gradient so right click on this layer okay that we have the gradient on it and then copy the layer style then also go to the next test as a conference and paste the layer style on it do the same thing for the other test as well then from here i'll double click on the gradient to adjust the settings so i can click and drag this one and move it in real time and do the same thing for the others all right so here is everything combined okay then from here i'll go to my source file and i'm going to add my image or the main pasta for the program so i'll click and drag this one here and i'm going to position it just like this okay double click on it to accept changes and then with the help of the layer marks we can click on that one and then with the help of the brush tool as well we can blend this one in okay make sure you have your opacity 100 percent so that you are going to have it smoothly blending ctrl o to fit everything to screen then also with the help of my test tool i'm going to add these details okay so i'll just pick my test tool and add those as quick as possible all right guys so from here i'm going to add this shape that we have here so okay you see that i changed the eye and also i put this one on here so i'll go to my source file and by the way i will leave a link in the description below for you guys to get access to this source file so that you can practice alongside okay so from here i'll select both of them click and drop them into photoshop okay and then i'll hit enter to accept changes then also you can reduce the size and position them as well all right then from here as we did earlier we are going to delete the eye and leave a space for this okay all right then from here i'm going to select everything that we just did and group it okay so you can just click all of them and move them to here on the group so that all of them is going to be grouped and we can also increase the size all right then from here we are going to create this images that we have here so we can conclude on this fly as well okay so let's create these shapes okay so with the help of my shape tool over here i'm going to click and drag to create something like this okay then from here with my shape selected i'll go to edit and i'll select transform path over here okay and also make sure you have skill selected and then we can click and drag this one okay so you can type in real figure so that you will know the figure that you are typing is negative 4.5 click on ok all right and click on accept changes so this is how it's going to be like and i'm going to make a duplicate of this one so click and drag this one to the plus sign over here to make a duplicate and i'm going to move this one down just like this i'll do the same thing for the rest all right so from here to make sure the interval and this interval is the same we can select all of them okay all of them together 
and then when you're on the move to okay so if you are not on the move to let's say you are on this two, you are not going to have access to those two but make sure you are on the move to okay so that you are going to have access to these options at the top then we can click on this one to align or make the intervals equal and then you can click and drag them to wherever you want them to be okay then for me i'll select the first layer or the face shape and go to my sort file click and drag this one into photoshop reduce the size and then right click and we are going to create you guess clipping max position it how you want it okay and do the same thing for the rest all right so from here we are going to go to our source file again and i have this lens flare click and drag that into photoshop okay and then position it where you want to position it so let's position this one here and then with the blending mode this is normal so let's change this one to screen okay click on ok and position this one here make a duplicate to the other areas so that we are going to get the same effect around the whole thing all right so at the end of the day this is how the whole thing is going to look like okay so Control plus O to fit everything to screen and I'm loving how it is now. So let's add the other details and see the final results. Alright guys, so if we add all the other details that is left, this is how it's going to look like. Like the name, the fee, the date, the contacts and this is how it's going to look like. All the names over here, okay? So this is how it's going to look like. So let's end this one here and move on to the Alright guys, so with this last flyer, it's a bit tricky, but let's get the ball rolling and see what we can do. Okay, so Ctrl plus N to create a new document. So Ctrl plus N to create a new document. I'll select A3 and then I'll make sure I have landscape check as the orientation. Click on create. If you couldn't do it over there, you can come to image and then you select orientation and then you can rotate the image over here. Okay, so you can do it portrait or landscape. Let's maintain landscape and click on Ctrl O to fit everything to screen. Then from here, with the help of the shape tool, I'm going to draw a shape and fill it with a black background like this. Okay, next I'll go to my source file and I'll click and drag this image into Photoshop. By the way, as I said earlier, I will leave a link in the description below for you to get access to this source file. Increase it to fit the whole canvas, okay? And then from here, I'll go to adjustment and I'm going to add a solid color, okay? So with a solid color, let's choose a color like this, okay? And I'll click on OK. I'll change the color of this one to linear bend, okay? So this is the first color maybe you can use or so from here, I'll add a brand new layer by clicking on this new. And then with the help of my brush tool as well, I'm going to increase the size of the brush. And then I'm going to paint this color over there. Make sure you have your flow and opacity 100%. Okay, and this is the color code that I am painting over there. So let me continue painting. Next, I'll go to my adjustment, okay, and then I'll add color lookup, and then within color lookup, I'm going to add this one, okay. So with this one selected, see how the color start to pop, okay. And also, I don't feel the vibe of this background because it seems like it is a little blur. So let's go back to filter blur and let's add a Gaussian blur, okay, so that the dust that we can see in it is going to reduce so let's go with maybe 15 and i think it's very okay now next i'll go back to my adjustment and then i'm going to add a selective color okay so this is the first color that you can use or during the design i think they said they don't prefer this color so i change the color to something else so let's go to red i'm going to increase the red all the way to negative 58 and also from here, I will leave the magenta zero and with the yellow, so I'm going to make give it plus 35 and with the blacks, I'm going to leave it over there. So this is the color that I choose, but later I change the color. So let's go back to color lookup and I'm going to add this next color. By the way, I will choose Chris Winter and also let's go back to 
adjustment again and then with the help of the hue and saturation hs colors i'm going to increase this one all the way to plus 155 okay and then let's go back to hue and saturation again okay and within the hue and saturation we are going to reduce the saturation negative 68 and also reduce the lighting to negative 26 okay so this was the first option as the first color okay and this is the second option as the second color so this is the first color option that i chose for them but they said they want something like this so for you you can also choose one for your project as well okay but the good thing here is that you can use the hue and saturation over here to choose a different color as well if you would like to do that by maybe turning this one off and then using this one to change the color to something that you prefer let me turn this one off because we don't need it or delete it after all then from here i'll go back to my source file and i'm going to bring in my images so i have all these images that i'm going to add so you can select all of them by the way the background of these images have already been removed okay so if you don't know how to remove a background you check the video here to learn how to remove a background in photoshop so i'm just clicking on enter to place these images okay so you can also do same at your end all right so at the end of the day this is how it's going to look like and this is how i am arranging it by the way i will select this one and add a layer max onto it and with the help of the brush tool we can blend this one in as always make sure you have black as your foreground color and make sure you have the layer max selected okay not the layer but the layer max all right so this is going to be our images so from here you can see that we are almost through so let's add our test and we can end this video so the next thing that i'm going to add is my test so with my test you see that the white is not popping so with the help of the rectangle we are going to draw a rectangle just like this and i'll add the layer max to it then with the help of the brush tool we can blend this one in with the background and move this one to the center okay and also move this one beneath the test otherwise it's not going to show and from here we can select both of them and align to center and also i can change this color to something like this so you can do whatever that you like to do or pleases you the next thing is that we are going to type in this test so quickly i'm going to add this test okay so this is my test i'll change the font to this one we've already used it in the first video so if you have already downloaded it that's a plus for you Control plus t for the free transform and increase this test okay and from here too you can also notice that i changed this one to something else okay so let's delete this one by clicking on the space bar go back to your source file and click and drag this image into photoshop by the way you can create this yourself with the help of the pen tool you can just create something like this okay you see it's very easy then you click on this one to create that shape okay you see this is very very easy so you can create yourself and then we use the ellipse tool also to draw a circle on top that's what i did Control t for free transform and position this one here i'll also make this one a little bigger and also i'll use the same font for this one as well so select that and let's select both of them and align to the center all right so for me i'm going to change this font to this one okay so here is the name of the font photography you can download it on the internet Control t for free transform and make it as big as you want so from here i'm going to select all of them position it how i want it let me deselect this one Control g to group all of them then i'll go back to my source file i have this image that i would like to use so i will click and drag this one into photoshop click on enter to accept changes and right click and create a clipping mask you can move this guy around and also let's add a drop shadow to the group so it will help the test to stand out a bit click on ok to accept changes and also let me move this faster a bit forward and also this one as well 
all right from here i'll select the whole group move it a bit down select this group as well move this one a bit up okay all right guys so if you add the rest of the test this is how it's going to look like their name the date the venue the time okay so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up okay and also leave me a comment below which of these flyers is your best flyer or which of them you like the most okay and also please subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here thank you very much for watching until next time keep creating and never give up